So I'm here with August Williams. He's a pitcher for the Baseball Northwest program and down here at the Arizona Fall Classic. And, and August, uh, right off the bat, you know, you're here to show off to the scouts, the yes. coaches they are down here. What things are you hoping to, to demonstrate and to show uh, so that these coaches can see you and uh, really kind of understand your strength? Uh, I think kind of right off the bat, the obvious answer is uh, velocity because in, in today's game, I think, with all the things that are like really measurable, um, I think the scouts look for that. And obviously, uh, everyone tells you not to try to overthrow, but that's just not going to happen. Like everyone goes out there, um, they're trying to pump. Uh, but beyond that, I just want to, you know, kind of show a wide uh, array of pitches that I have to offer. You know, really show my curveball, show the good break on that change up, uh, and you know, just establish that stuff early and hopefully command the zone. Yeah, you know, coaches definitely like to see that, that velocity, but that command of the zone is pretty big, too, to be able to know that uh, if a guy, you know, has a target, he hits yeah, that target. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I, think, I think for me, um, recently I kind of, I've had a lot of, gained a lot of velocity, and so I think when I was younger, uh, the way I learned to pitch was kind of command the zone, you know, get the off-speed mm -hmm. pitches over, because that was the only way I could be successful. And so uh, now that I have a little bit more velocity, it's kind of, it's nice to be able to, you know, use both. Yeah, and then you know, so you're you are demonstrating your skills. Uh, you know, what are kind of your hopes and goals for your 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 career after high school? Uh, well, uh, hopefully, I'm playing college baseball. Uh, I know that uh, my 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 dream has kind of always been to play in the Ivy Leagues. Um, but you know, if that if that doesn't happen, um, I'm really excited about an opportunity to play at a school called Haverford College, uh, just outside of Philadelphia. And beyond that, I'm just hoping to develop into the best baseball player I can be. I think I, I have a, a lot of room to grow, so I'm excited. Yeah, and then with with that room to grow, you know, it's your, your senior year. Um, what things do you hope to, to focus on and really accomplish uh, as you go into that, that final year of high school? Uh, are you talking more from like a high school perspective yeah, or like a yeah. start perspective? So, um, uh, my high school team, uh, we kind of underperformed a little bit last year, so I'm hoping that uh, this year we can really come together as a team. Uh, I hope the senior leaders step up. Uh, I know I'm going to do my best, you know, to to you know get those freshmen excited to come out. And hopefully, get some sophomore, you know, excited to contribute at the varsity level. And I think, um, regardless of how we perform, I hope we just come together as a team better. And I think if we do that. Um, you know, if everyone plays their role, knows what they got to do, I think we'll have a lot of success. And so I'm just hoping, you know, make it as far as we possibly can. Awesome. And then, to so make it even to this level, uh, it takes a lot of work, a lot of time. It also takes people to kind of motivate you and inspire yeah. you. So who in your life has been that motivator and that inspiration? Oh, absolutely. Um, I'd like to start by saying my parents because, you know, they've encouraged me from day one, whether I go out there and uh, I give up 10 home runs or I throw a no-hitter, they're always going to support me. And so I think that was really important for me, and especially in a game where there's so much failure. Uh, even as a pitcher, you know, you don't always execute all your pitches. Uh, they really back me up. And then beyond that, I mean, I was, I was my future in baseball is kind of in question. Like a year ago, you know, I was having my shoulder was bugging me a little bit. I wasn't throwing very hard. I didn't look that good. I, I wasn't as big, you know, I wasn't as athletic. And I think um, switching to city baseball was a huge step up for me because the coaches there, uh, Wes Long and Jeff Brown, they really encouraged me, you know, to you can make this happen if you work hard enough. And I think that was really important as well. And then, you know, for a lot of players growing up, they'll watch Major League Baseball and see players that they uh, admire, or whether it's because of their style or their attitude. Is there a player that you look at and go, you know, I kind of like watching that player or even kind of mimic him in some ways? Um, absolutely, um, there is. There's a few. I mean, I just I just love watching baseball so much. Like, I could sit around my house and do it all day. But uh, when I was a lot younger, uh, my dad's a huge baseball fan, so I was really into, um, you know, the old school baseball players. So my favorite pitcher of all time is actually Bob Gibson because, you know, he went out there and he could competed really hard and he was he was mean on the mound and I think that uh, I, 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 I try to channel that obviously I'm not quite as uh, intense as he is but you know I try my best yeah Bob Gibson definitely known for his intensity exactly, on the mound yeah, yeah and then you know once again it takes a lot of work to get here and you have a lot of younger players who are around the baseball fields what advice do you give to them um, to try and make it for, for those kids who are trying to follow in a similar path and make it to the college level I'd say just you know uh, regardless of the outcome on the field do what you can off the field to get yourself better on the field you know uh, there's always something you can do even if you know you're hurt you're not playing well there's always something you can do especially if you have positive people in your life that you know really know what's going on from a baseball standpoint uh, I'd say use those people to the best of your ability and just don't give up on yourself just buy into yourself and buy into what you do as a baseball player and I think if you do that and you work hard there's no reason why you can't accomplish your goals awesome well thank you very much yeah absolutely thanks